Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So it's just starting to snow again. So let's go ahead and get a measure, see how much snow we got, and then try and see how much power we're using. Here we go. Okay, so let's see how much snow we got out here. Oh, actually that's a lot more than I thought there'd be. Seven and a half inches of snow. So that's a good fair amount for a heavy snow test and we have some more snow coming. So let's go check out and see what it looks like up on Dishy. So let's go ahead and take a peek here, see what we have. It's 105 kilowatts. Not seeing any of those spikes up to the 200 that it was before. 97. Definitely a little bit better. Um, I know I can see quite a few icicles hanging off of Dishy right now and a pile of snow towards the bottom end of it. Um, I'm not seeing any errors. There's a 121, so some small spikes increasing on power. But so that's a that's a very steady in like the 120 ranges. Alright. Well, Let's go ahead and get out there and take a look at the actual dishing and see what some of those icicles look like up close. So here we are taking a quick look at the dish. So again, I have that ridgeline roof mount. You can start to see some of the snow that's piled up on the bottom. So I would say like 90 plus percent of the dish is completely cleared off. And even a lot of the, the mounting bracket itself is all cleared off completely. It's nice to see like any of the spots where the cables are are not getting so hot that it's like melting some of the snow. Um, but we are starting to see quite a few icicles hanging down. So I'm imagining right now Dishy is locked in place. Um, and not a whole lot I can do about that, which is most unfortunate. But this is what I'm starting to see. Um, I did not get a chance to try out some of the ideas people had posted in the comments of using some ski wax along the edge. I'm definitely going to try that out, though, once it's safe to get back up on top of the roof there. I am debating on whether or not to try out stow mode and see if that'll do anything or not by breaking some of the icicles. If you got any thoughts or ideas on what I should try to do, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you've had some success or failure with using snow mo stow mode to be able to help break the ice, definitely let me know too. Otherwise, thanks for watching and peace everybody. Bye.